Well, let's stay with that story. Richard Painter is a corporate law professor with the University of Minnesota and former chief ethics lawyer for President George W. Bush. He joins us now from Minneapolis. Um, Richard, in your legal opinion, can the president pardon his family and himself if it's found that he engaged in wrongdoing? Well, the president probably has the power to pardon his own family members in addition to other individuals uh, if uh, he so chooses. And that would probably be a valid pardon. It would also almost certainly lead to his impeachment and removal from office if he were to be pardoning uh, family members or close associates this early in his term in connection with this Russia investigation. He does not have the power to pardon himself. Uh, no one can be a judge in their own case. Uh, that is a common law principle, ancient common law principle, and that includes the president using his pardon power. He cannot be a judge in his own case. There is no precedent for a royal pardon for the king anywhere having pardoned themselves as opposed to pardoning other people. And that is where the pardon comes from, is the president of the royal pardon. Uh, nowhere in human history have I been able to find an example where someone pardoned themselves. It just doesn't happen. Even the Pope says confession to another priest. It does not happen. The president of the United States cannot pardon himself. But if he goes ahead and does it, you're saying he'll be impeached. Well, his party has both houses of Congress. What's to, to stop him, really? I've been uh, active in the Republican Party for 30 years. Uh, this is obviously a very distressing time for the Republican Party. Uh, but those of us who would like for there to continue to be a Republican Party uh, certainly need to stand up to President Trump. He is not conducting himself in office as a president ought to. Uh, and uh, this is not a partisan issue. It's not a Democrat or Republican issue. Uh, there was collaboration with the Russians. That is clearly what happened in the Trump Tower. Uh, at the meeting in last June, uh, we have email corroborating the fact that the Russians were going to provide dirt on uh, Secretary Clinton, or the opponent, uh, and uh, that is unacceptable what happened there. And Robert Mueller, the special counsel, needs to continue his investigation and get to the bottom of it. Uh, and I don't think the Republican Party is going to get anywhere if uh, uh, there is the perception that we're standing in the way. There does seem to be differing legal opinion about whether collusion is a crime or not. But is the heart of this issue that too much of what governs appropriate behaviour from the president is to do with protocol and convention rather than hard law with hard consequences? Well, uh, when uh, we choose a president, we are choosing the person who's going to lead our country uh, among the free nations of the world. Uh, to seek to make the world a better place, to make our country a better place. We cannot uh, accept uh, a situation where the president merely tries to adhere to the bare minimum of what is legally required in his personal conduct or in the conduct of his office. We certainly cannot have a situation where the president is attacking the press, or is attacking the judiciary, or the special prosecutor. Uh, we are not going to stand for this. It's not going to last much longer. He's either going to change uh, his approach uh, or he's going to have to move on. And those decisions will be made in part by Mr. Trump himself, about whether he wants to be president of a democratic country, uh, such as the United States. And those decisions may eventually be made by Congress. And of course, the voters have an input when they choose a new Congress in 2018, if it lasts that long.